I don't remember that what that math equation was. What's what's uh, twenty eight minus thirteen? Scott down forty seven. <laughs> Episode forty seven. That's funny. I gotta. I'm gonna fun. find it. I'm gonna find a picture of her for the cover. Man, we almost week. have fifty two, man. You no know, fifty two. Mm, the, go- the golden number. Yeah, we are coming up on a year. I that's think crazy. a year is in. Uh, Y'all like, yeah, eight. that's that's insane. Yeah. Uh, Damn. Either way. How's how's y'all's weeks, man? What's, what's going on? Oh man, that's good. Just just work. Uh, oh, f- say something else. Fuck, man. I know you go to work. <laughs> You're an adult. I, uh, what else is going on? He you does say that. Every you week. guys got a. Uh, you know, how I told you guys I did that a uh, touchdown only fantasy uh, league. Yeah. Okay. With, with uh, one of my coworkers, so I did fucking awful in the regular season. Last place, nice. the lowest amount of points. But we did a uh, we do a redraft after the regular season, so pretty much you just you know all the teams that make the playoffs. Yeah. So you know it, it gets dog that that shit dries up fast, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. But guess who won that? Wow. You. Wow. That's you. Damn. Damn. Wow. Wait. Wait. So, so you won that and you won your Super Bowl bets? Yeah. Because uh, wow. so the thing with me the I picked up, I picked a good amount of uh. My thing was I had the Rams defense, Matt Stafford. I had T. Higgins, Uzama. Damn. I had Debo Samuel. I lost so my you had the first su- round. The Super Bowl teams plus the niggas yeah, that just bought much, out the I playoffs. I pretty much had t- play players in the Super Bowl. So. Wait, so this is like a DFS type of thing where everyone can have the same players? You just kind of no, budget no, no, it? Or no, like nobody has the same players. players. Have those players. Like, right, right when the uh, playoffs start, you pick from a pool of players. You know, all the teams. Oh, the players. Yeah. What you, what you make that face for, nigga? It sounds like thievery. That's, that's some thievery. It makes sense to do that shit. Like if it's an auction type of thing where everyone can have the same players. But if it's like I literally like you took a player, like let's say like someone ended up with Hunter Renfro or something. Yeah. Okay. Like, that would fucking suck. Like Don't, some people have it. Like think about it. Like um, some people had to get a, uh, you know that one nigga that had like four touchdowns at three hundred yards for Buffalo. Uh, oh, Gabe Gabe Davis. Davis. Yeah, somebody yeah. had him. Oh, he's Gabe now to you, huh? No, I didn't have him. But <laughs> no, no, he's a <laughs> Tyrell. I, I thought that was the first his name. time we've seen this dude all fucking year. Oh yeah, you know Gabe Davis. <laughs> hey, I've been a big Gabe Davis fan all season. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's about to come in a man to eighty two. And he has yeah, yeah. cheeks this year. I won that, so shout out to me for getting. I probably won all my money back from fantasy this year, just off of that. Nice. I think it's like you one, up, like, like one eighty, maybe something like that. So you report all these on your taxes? <laughs> all right. <man. laughs> this nigga is a cop. Jesus Christ! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh my god! That's <laughs> big out here. Like so you do you report all these on your taxes? Yeah, everybody from Do you? Getting, everybody from the target shit from the IRS. Like, yeah, we know you be uh hitting up your homies to play this shit for you. Like, damn. So you talked about betting in 14 weeks on the podcast, but didn't report anything on your taxes. <laughs> when I hit when I hit that uh <laughs> When I hit that NBA parlay on Christmas, a demon was created. I, mean, I want to be on the All Star game Sunday. I don't know why you shake your head, nigga. I'm about to kidnap you and bring you up there with me. Y'all missing out on some good bullshit to bet on right now with this Rising Stars thing because they do target score to 50 and that you win the game. And I don't know how many teams there are. Like right now, the second game is going. So, obviously, there's a championship game coming. Yeah. But this would have been some fun bullshit to bet on, too. Wow. Yeah, like and I, you can't you you can. bet on, like, the – I know you can uh, bet on, like, all the All-Star Weekend stuff for tomorrow. I don't know if that's on MGM, but I've definitely seen it on, like, other websites and shit. Yeah, they got yeah. Team Barry versus Team Peyton up right now. Team Team Barry was a uh, plus 100. Okay. I don't know on Team Barry, but they plus 100. Uh, I'm looking at the Lamelo's on one team and Kate Cunningham on the other team with with Evan Mobley too. Okay. 
Oh, yep, yep. MGM got the skills challenge winners, uh, three point contest, all that shit. Oh, MGM has them? Yeah. Nigga, I'm looking at, they got team rookies, they got team Cavs, and team Antetokounmpo with just the three Antetokounmpo brothers. And team, okay. team, team Cavs is Jared Allen, Darius Garland, and Evan Mobley. And team rookie is Scotty Barnes, Kane Cunningham, and Josh Giddy. Okay. I, yeah, I think I think Team Peyton might take this one. We'll see though. Uh, Tyro, what's your week been looking like, man? What's up? Hey, it's actually it's been a it's been a good week. You know, work was fun. Uh, uh, I didn't really do nothing eventful. We're getting close to beating Sifu, so that's been rewarding. Uh, we had Super Bowl, so you know we had a little Super Bowl party, and then one of the homies is moving to Arizona, so we did some going away shit for him. Got very intoxicated in public. That's always fun. Um, did you cook for the yeah. Super Bowl party? Uh, I did cook uh, through DoorDash. Yes, I cooked uh, some pizza. <laughs> Shout out to the homie. His name yeah. will re- re- remain anonymous. Where did oh, you order pizza yeah. from? Uh, this place in Tacoma called Salmon's. Uh, it's in the stadium district. Very good pizza. It's it's open after you left for sure. Um, but yeah, super fire pizza. The the owner might kind of be a piece of shit. But oh shit! Don't oh, worry about that. Food yeah, food. I, I'm not too concerned. I'm not. Too everybody, concerned. everybody eat Chick Fil A, so <laughs> we can't yeah, talk about that. Really? It's, uh, it's different. I mean, I y'all do. did I for a minute. Shut up! I, oh, I, had, once I, I heard all that bad shit. You're lying, like a motherfucker. Okay, I'm sure you did. <laughs> he, <laughs> he stopped eating Chick Fil A when Popeyes got a chicken sandwich. Is what happened. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I haven't. Had chicken. Just, I've had Chick Fil A for 72 hours. hours. <laughs> yeah, I would say I had Chick Fil A for breakfast today. Fuck out of here. I know gay people mm-hmm. that be eating that Chick Fil A. They, they don't give a fuck about all that. Shit, fire. Anyway, Dude, that's a horrible yeah. excuse. <laughs> Why? I know fire. black people that let me say the n word to them. <laughs> oh wait, I wasn't. I'm what? Wait, I'm not justifying that. I don't give a fuck uh, about none of that shit. Chick Fil A, good. I'm gonna eat there. Like, oh, I was just saying I know gay people that eat there. Yeah, if they if they don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. Hey man, the. Mm-hmm. Uh, the people that make them wings at Go Philly on Wednesday, they could be like, yo, on Wednesday specifically, we are Nazis. I'm still getting them hey, lemon pepper wings on Wednesday. Nigga, shout out to Go Philly actually for the Super Bowl. Uh, they did 99 cent wings. So we we got like a 60 pack and they delivered it instead of just in the fucking like oh, wow, that's crazy. styrofoam they nobody? usually do. They delivered in like some 10. The yeah, they had the yeah. middle. The wings taste 100 times better. 100 times better than they normally do. That's Shit, crazy. So you can tell nobody that? Tell you what. Why would I tell you that? Every time I text you about the Super Bowl, you left me on red. Suck my dick, nigga. You didn't invite you? I invited him three times, and every time I invited him, he literally didn't Holy respond. Holy shit. <laughs> no, I text you, man. I told you, uh... I didn't, no, you didn't. I talked don't to you. Don't make me... Don't make me pull up the text. Dude, I swear I talked to you. <laughs> no, That's you crazy. didn't. You know what, you know what it was? I, what did I end up doing? I know I ended, I ended I told up... Him I, Michael, bringing, but dude, I, was I told him I wasn't bringing... I told him I wasn't getting the sweet tea. Uh, I bet. I told him I wasn't getting sweet tea uh, slurricane. He's like, I'm not coming. Wow. Disgusting. <laughs> we took our try that. How was your week, Blake? Hell. Uh man, it, it's it's you know, it's been cool, man. You know, uh another another week in the books being uh daddy by myself. So um it's always I mean this this is cool because Brindley uh back to daycare this week, so it makes things kind of more normal. Yeah. Um but it it's uh I don't know. It's like it's super rewarding. Like obviously, like being the parents, like dumbass hard, but like at the same time, like just the all the interactions and stuff that you get, like um, just the uh, the moment to moment shit, like is like super rewarding. So for sure, I don't, um, I don't know. It's been cool. Like tonight was bath night, so she did her thing or whatever, just playing in there and all that stuff. I've been doing her hair all week. Oh um, man, shout out to single fathers up. everywhere, man. What, doing? <laughs> what kind of hairstyle you got around? Um, you know, because uh, she's only she's only half us, so it her hair isn't necessarily like all the way. Um, oh, yeah, it's a little different. To my level, and like that. yeah. So like, um, I talked with my sister, and she sent me some stuff for like uh, that should help her curls out. Um, so I just been one's like a thicker one, like it's it's, it's called a curl custard, and the other one is um, just like more of like a lighter. Uh, I think it's a moisturizer, a leave-in moisturizer. But I just do that and like comb it a little bit, put some more and comb it a little bit until it's like it's nice and the curls are there and everything. Nice. Holding. Um, she got some shampoo as well, but the shampoo was not tear-free. She oh doesn't no! Up yet, so I was horrible there for a minute. She hated me. Um, nah, damn. But it was like, 
But also, um, unrelated to dad stuff, I also want to shout out TCL's customer support people. Um, so, like last year, I think last year in May, I bought a, a TV, a new TV for our living room. It's a 75 inch TCL. Um, and I have like set up all the TVs in our house on my own to this point, um, including that one. But that one was by far the heaviest TV that I've ever set up on my own. And I made the poor mistake of one setting up a own because it's supposed to take two people. But um, when I was doing it, I believe I lifted it up and sat it back down on the ground, like on its on on the screen part. Right. Because uh-huh. I was putting the, the legs on. But you're, you're supposed to do that. Um, okay. But when I did it, I think at one point, like I had, I, I think I left the screwdriver underneath it. Um, so I got it out of there super fast. And then when I was putting it up on our TV stand, it leaned back on me as well, which put a lot of pressure on one point of the screen. Um, so I got it on the stand and I'm pretty sure like at first everything was fine. But over the next few months, this like the top right hand corner of the screen just started to become discolored. Like it became like this yellow spot that got bigger and bigger and bigger until finally, like it was just like too much. And like I, my mom was here in January, we were watching uh Snoop and Kevin Hart, like recap the last year. And it looked like Snoop only put lotion on his hands and his face was like just <laughs> burned out because the, the color was just so bad. So yeah. I finally, I contacted TCL support. I was like, Hey man, uh, yeah, this spot disappeared on my screen, man. It's just been getting bigger. It's been getting worse. I don't know what did it. And then they were like, okay, cool. Try this stuff or whatever. Okay, cool. That didn't work. We're going to send somebody out there. And that's when they sent out um, the, this guy like last weekend or no, two weeks ago now. Okay. Um, he replaced the part in it, didn't fix it. And then um, finally today they sent me the replacement TV. And of course here by myself again. So I had to set it up by myself again, but I made sure to be careful this time. But either way, I got my TV replaced, so nice. that was cool. I, I normally don't ever contact customer support or nothing like that in the first place. So I was like, I'm not gonna keep spending money like this. So let me yeah see what options sure. I have in front of me. Did uh so did he come during like regular uh, business hours, like regular regular time of the day? Yeah, uh, today is a uh, uh, it's a four day where I work. So uh, oh nice. Uh, um, yeah. But yeah, so I I basically just worked from home today. It's a four day for some people where I work. Okay. So. No one's really expected to be in. You know what I'm saying because you nice. know, like we've we've had somebody get like a plumber at like ten o'clock at night. <laughs> so that was yeah. wild as fuck. I, I was... did not get a nasty gram. This is an actual <laughs> service. Hey, 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 it do be, delivery people do be coming whenever. I remember we bought a couch once, and the niggas was like, "Yeah, they'll be there like sometime this day." They legit showed up at like eleven thirty. Holy shit! It's like, why? Why would you show up just like to kids? Hey, real quick, back to bath time. Hey, can Brindley fit that Nick's robot bottle yet? Yeah, yeah. Um, nice. But the, we just she's worn it a few times. It's actually hanging up on her door right now. Um, but just not much time for for robes. We like well, she doesn't hang sense. out in the in between stuff that that often because. <laughs> Yeah, she's a baby, so it's actually, happens. So maybe we're to throw a diaper on her and just put a robe yeah. on, just put her pajamas on. Yeah, I got you. I like to think that she uh, cherishes it very much and knows exactly who it came from, even though she's never met me. Yeah, it's all good. One day. Uh, yeah, Knicks are fucking horrible this year, anyway. So <laughs> there's really no rush to get that on here. I don't, I don't need that on my child. Punish. Punish. God off the team. That's funny. All right, Super Bowl. The big bowl. Yeah. The big bowl. Hey, that was a good ass game. I feel like Yeah, I feel like that was better than last year. Uh, yeah, I feel like that was better than last year's game. I like the uh the 49ers Chiefs one. But yeah, this was a good ass game. I had a great time watching it. It definitely helps to have like no skin in the game. Like when the Chiefs are playing, I want them to lose, right? Um oh, yeah, so okay. I, I'm rooting against him. You know, I got a rooting interest. I didn't bet on it. So it was nice to just like Watch two teams that I'm like, okay, I like both of these teams. Uh, it could go either way with them winning. It makes it a very enjoyable experience. That shit was. No, I, I good, have man. a differing opinion on it, I think, oh, man. I, I thought the game was pretty damn boring, if I'm to be honest myself. The Bengals, like, kind of came up flat. Besides, like, the, the big play they had with the T. Higgins face mask and, like, Oof. one of their bombs, like, yeah, they really didn't have shit else going for them. So I don't, I don't understand know, but, how you. How you missed that call on that that face mask? Because it wasn't just yeah. like a 
like a oh yeah he like graves his face man he fucking yeah. <laughs> ripped Jalen Ramsey's face off and they keep posting the Jalen Ramsey gave up more yards in the Super Bowl than he ever did in his career it's like well yeah seventy five of them were because he got decapitated man, exactly a little yeah. disingenuous yeah no yeah, since he definitely a lot going yeah. on dog. Like, the, the score was definitely closer than the game I just I think there was some fun plays either way it was some interesting strategy like neither team could run the ball but they kept trying to run the ball for i don't know why the, the first half kept trying it was like nigga you guys aren't getting nothing bro like yeah they, i, I they think they averaged like first one, down every time yeah i think they averaged 1.6 yards a carry for the game and they that's, tried to run a lot high it's but absurd probably what happens when you're uh <laughs> you're starting running back had a torn achilles all season and played three games probably not a hey man shout out to shake. tony michelle you should you should have got it done he might, he stinks too. I thought he was gonna be better. He looked okay that rookie. Year hey, fuck no, he don't stink. He had like three twenty point games in a row in the fantasy at the end of the season. I mean, he he gets you like fifty receiving yards, forty seven rushing yards, nothing crazy. Well, I stink. didn't see any of that Sunday. So I, did he touch the ball Sunday? <laughs> I don't know if he got in the game. Yeah, I would just don't think that, he got in the game. What's it, Dar- that Darnell Henderson thing in? Yeah, they Darnell Henderson. Like a motherfucker. They be having them line up outside. They do. Oh, hey. Wow. Uh, Darryl y'all think Cooper? Cup, y'all think Cooper Cup should have won the Super Bowl MVP, or you think it should have went to Aaron Donald? I'm fine with Cooper Cup. Or, he put or the team else. on his back that last try. Yeah, I, uh, at listening to people this week have convinced me that Aaron Donald was the right person to win it. But in yeah. the moment, I was perfectly fine with Cooper. Cup. Yeah, same here. I think I'm I still fine with Cooper Cup today. But like, yeah, I'm not this against week, it. <laughs> it but Aaron, Aaron Donald's Donald. three plays in a row is like, actually, we're about to win this game real quick. Fuck out my way. Yeah. That shit was impressive as hell. He's different, dog. He's, he's real different. And you see all he's really for, like, different. Niggas getting like triple team the double team and stuff. I'm like, because they only they only had like one sack the first half. I'm like, damn, bro. Yep. Like, and then six in the second half. I think. Protecting the second God, half, man. That line broke down. Nothing you could do. They were trying to shit on Clinton Spain for getting worked out by Aaron Donald. It's like, dog, he played his ass off that first half. You can you can only hold the damn for so much. Before yeah, that exactly, get to work. bro. Like, you're not gonna be able to like lock this nigga up the whole game. Yeah, it sucks. You I hope can't he retires. It I never want to see him be bad. My bad. Go ahead. No, I said it sucks. You can't do it when it matters the most, like literally the yeah. most. But yeah, yeah. I it. can agree with you there, Blake. I don't want him to retire just because he's my favorite player and I love watching him play. It's fucking ridiculous. Like he's I don't one of the see a version of him that's less than this. Like yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's incredible. For sure. We still might be a couple years away, but yeah, I can. We I definitely be. agree with you. We might be. Yeah, and I hope he don't retire. He said, "Let's it's, run it back." Yeah. It's just incredible somebody, like, can be that good at one thing. Like, yeah, I, I just don't understand. Like, there's nothing that anybody on the face of the earth can do with him. And it's been proven over and over again. Like, you can be the best guard, center, tackle in the league, and he's just like, yeah, I'm going to beat your ass. And he might physically beat your ass, too. Yeah, no, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing that – pause. Seeing that nigga shirtless at the fucking hey, – yeah. uh, at the parade, <laughs> I was thinking like, yo, he, this nigga really played the same position as Vince Wilford. That doesn't make any sense to me. Nigga got an eight-pack with like 2% body fat. A Technically, he doesn't. Man, they said yeah. he has like less than 10% okay. body fat. Right, that's fucking insane for a D-tackle. That's crazy. <laughs> Vince Wilford was a nose tackle. Or okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Nerd. Mr. Anti-Semantic. An- analytic man. And a There's dickhead. a big difference, though. Come on, now. Nah, y'all, nah, there is. y'all know. Nah, y'all you football people. You, you ever see uh, Vince Wilford run around the edge? You running a boot. <laughs> <down there. laughs> Didn't Vince Wilford catch three, like three touchdowns in his career? I don't know. He might have three picks. I don't know if he has caught three touchdowns. Though. I would. I wouldn't be. Oh no, he has one pick. Because remember, they were saying, or yeah, he, I think he does have three. Because they were saying uh, yeah, he has more picks than uh, Jamal Adams. You let, you let Vince Wilford crib something. No, everybody on that offense will get to come that pick against me. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's crazy too because I think speaking of uh, the offense coming back I think the Bengals have like all their important players signing and I think they have like 60 something million left in cap oh yeah they got cap I don't know right. if they'll get right back there because you know they they kind of snuck into the Super Bowl but they're in a great position to, to try Ooh, to run that shit sheesh. back good lord Jordan Woods oh yes yeah I'm, I'm interested to see what they do I'm interested to see what the Rams do all right Horn, man Fucking uh, like brother, brother, freaky as hell. Shout out to Cat. Fuck, I would have been bad. Ridiculous. So, yeah, yeah, I know they need Jesse Bates, though. He's a free agent this season coming up. 
Yeah, they're gonna bring him back. You got yeah, to. They got to. He's gonna get paid. Go. He's gonna try to demand the bag for sure. For sure. Y'all, y'all got any predictions for the offseason for either of those two teams? You guys think that they either of those guys will like be the Super Bowl misses the playoffs joint? I feel like the Bengals probably have the best chance to miss it. Playoffs miss the playoffs. I think the Bengals very well could miss the playoffs next yeah, year. Yeah. But that being said, I don't. I still, as long as Baker Mayfield plays for Cleveland, I think there's a good chance they can miss it. The Steelers, I guess, it depends on what they do at quarterback, and then the Ravens. I it, health is really. Yeah, I don't even know about that because, like, if if you look at like what Baker did two years ago, like, and if it really was injuries, then they're probably better than the the Bengals too. Like, if there's two games between those teams, they're definitely without bad he played. So yeah. it's like, and they did beat the fuck out of them both times in the regular season. Yeah, and it's like if okay, Lamar had a horrible season last year. That's an aberration as well. So if you go back yeah. to how he was two years ago, and they had literally they're better too. Like two, the Ravens. Yeah. yeah. And every, that's not going to happen again. And I mean, probably the Steelers are the one team that's going to slide backwards just because yeah. even though Ben couldn't throw the ball for shit, like he wasn't like necessarily making poor decisions. His arm just couldn't get the ball down the field. He was still making the yeah. right choice. So mm-hmm. to get someone in there who's going to play better than him, there's there's a short list of people who are going to do that. And then, like, I don't know if they're going to get one of them. So, yeah. And they, were, they still snuck into the playoffs. Yeah. We'll see. It's it's probably it's probably not looking sweet for the Bengals, man. They, get, they trained for Jimmy G. The Steelers? They could. I wouldn't hate it, honestly. Like you said, like Ben didn't like really. And Jimmy, don't, Jimmy G doesn't necessarily make bad decisions. He's just not all that good. No, so, yeah. no he yeah. makes bad decisions. It's just uh, there's no in between in- with him. Either he's playing kind of good or he's fucking up. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if it's still going to be 30 touch Najee out there, yeah. then I think he probably could survive Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, they got some touches from your running back. Deontay, what, Johnson, uh, Claypool. Yeah, I don't know who's all coming back, dog. Chase Claypool is a fraud. Juju gone. <laughs> Boo-boo's out of there. Boo-boo's gone. <laughs> Boo-boo. Damn. That's crazy. Antonio yeah, Brown he just got hurt, too, didn't he, at the end of the, at the, end of the, the shit? Didn't he get hurt? I, I think he had, like, a shoulder injury or something like that. Oh, I thought it was <laughs> yeah, He did, because he had a commercial where he's doing a TikTok dance. He had a retweet and like, this was filmed before the season. I did not do this while hurt. Oh, I thought he broke his clip. Coward. <laughs> okay. Broke his what? Nothing. His blink. <laughs> you won't say that to his face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, Dude, beat the shit. Nigga beat me Did up. Did we ever talk about the commanders? My bad. Uh, I don't think so. That kind of came. Like, yeah. Shout out to those white jerseys. Those are kind of hard. The rest of it is. I ass. think. I think all of those jerseys suck. No, nah, I like the white ones. It look. It does nah. look very. Uh, FSU was fuck you, Blake. I don't really care for the name. Like I, I, I personally would have preferred to see them stay Washington football team if they were going to go All to Commanders. Like a, yeah, no, not that. Um, <laughs> I think Washington football team. I, it grew on me. I hated it at first. It didn't sound bad. I think it was kind of cool. Um, it's hella funny their rollout though. Like they had the helicopter the night before that went and flew and saw that they had a big ass poster that said Commanders hanging up. Um. And then when they the sigil that they had or whatever had the wrong Super Bowl years on it, like they did the year yep. the game was played versus the season. So it's like got Dallas Cowboys Super Bowls on there. And then they submitted it to the league to change it. And they tried to do Roman numerals. But the league was like, no, we own Roman numeral for the Super Bowl. So you can't change it to that. So now they got to figure some other shit out. Like they're just dumb. They're just a shitty franchise. So it makes sense that it happened that way. I don't know. Yeah. But the name is. Is whatever, I guess. I wouldn't want to be a fan of the team called the Commanders. Pretty bad, bro. It does kind of suck. That's the worst yeah. name in the league. Now that I'm is it? it? There's not a uh, maybe Ooh. Patriots because I don't like Patriots, but other than that, I, I think like the that's Browns the worst name in the league too. Yeah, wow. okay. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> the Browns do kind of suck. You Browns. shouldn't have said that this month. You could have waited until March to say that, though. Oh, damn. Yeah, that was a little fucked up. <laughs> um, the Texans is just lazy. That is kind of like, lazy. Yes we, yes, we play in Texas. We are the Texans. That's just fucking lazy. Bro, I remember yeah, when no. they first started showing up on Madden when they didn't have, like, no players for real. Dog. Nigga, <laughs> most of the time they've been on Madden, they don't got no players for real. That's crazy. <laughs> Shout out to Andre stinks. Johnson. Fuck Cortland Finnegan. Yes. Shout out to the show. Um, <laughs> See, anyway, so y'all got anything you're looking forward to this offseason? Maybe with your team, a different team? Like, you think there's a team that can do something that, like, makes them have a huge leap going into the next season? 
from where they ended this year for the NFL? I'm just trying to see where some of these free agents end up, man. Like Vaughn Miller's out there, Brandon Scherf, mm. Allen Robinson, Chandler Jones, Chris Godwin, Devontae Adams. I just want my team to be respectful. Stephen Gilmore. Hey, got some players out there, man. I don't you know, know if the Jags going to attract anybody, anybody, but they got cap. We should, like, at the beginning of the area, we should always just put $100 on our own team to get to the Super Bowl. Think about it. Like, no. a, a Bengals fan did that last year until he came up, like, a couple bands. Why don't I just put it, like, on, like, an actual investment, not just someplace where if it doesn't happen, then I lose everything. But what if your team loses the Super Bowl just because you didn't believe? <laughs> I don't get anything if they win it. I don't care. <laughs> I like cheering. That's enough for me. All right. I mean, me and Tyrell talk after. Uh-oh. All right. I think, I think I'm done with the gambling. I fucking hate it. Come on, man. Look, you can't leave me out here on this island. Yes, I can. That's crazy. I, I think I might, actually. Oh, you were uh... Dude, didn't you hit like your last couple? No, I hit a couple and then lost a couple. Cause, Cause, I bet the under on the Pro Bowl. That's why. <laughs> it's the <laughs> dumbest fucking hobby to have. I swear. Yeah, no, it's no longer a hobby. I'm just playing video <laughs> games. Man. I'm just playing video games, man. I'm being responsible. <laughs> no, hey, no lie, that was the funniest shit ever. <laughs> oh my god, dog! I wish Blake. I wish he was up here, dude. You should have seen me and Tyrell's face. <laughs> No, so that nigga threw a pick six and like niggas just laid down and started planking on the field. Let the nigga run it back for six. I'm like, wait, hold on. They're not going to try and tackle this nigga? No. Dog, everybody I'm behind him. No, niggas, damn college game. Uh, niggas like, yo, man, I put $2,000 on the over, man. Ain't nobody playing no fucking deepest here. It's the easiest money I'll ever make in my life. <laughs> yeah, this nigga throwing no. this in the front, just like, fuck. I had that like Kevin Hart, I eat ass face the whole game. Just mad. Yeah. Y'all watch it at the casino? Yes. Yeah, uh, most of it, at least. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. the first six quarters. Because we, we, we took the under, like, 64. Niggas had, like, 57 at the half. I can't believe. Y'all, oh, my God. Dude, and it's funny, because w- when I picked him up, I told him, hey, man, we should uh, get the over. Nigga, uh, nigga, uh, what, what's the uh, detective, <laughs> nigga? The um, nigga had the go-go gadget. Nigga had all the <laughs> stats and statistics. Nigga pull up PFF charts. Hey, bro, like, they've only went over 64 points one time in the last eight years. And that year was a leap year. Like, we should just play the under, man. They're not gonna be- <laughs> <laughs> no, who's paying you to be a bitch right now? <laughs> I'm like, that's damn. That's crazy. I think that's my thing. I got to stop being convinced so easy. But, you know, he, it's February. You black. Bro, my guy. Bro, we got to the kiosk, and the nigga next to him was like, hey, I'm taking the under, and I'm buying points. Bro, <laughs> like, yeah, bro he was telling us, like, some. Like some FBI secret code <laughs> shit, bro. What does buying points mean? It's like the under was sixty four, and you can you can decrease your like you'll win less money, but it can be now the under sixty six. Yeah, so spread, you increase yeah. your odds, but you win a little. Helps bit you a little money. bit with spread. It gives you a little yeah, more okay. margin for error. Oh, yeah, exactly. What does a teaser mean? That I still don't know. Yeah, I don't know. The fuck I think you mean. can tease. I think it's if you have multiple bets, you can like. Tease it by like splitting the points, I think, but I don't know. I don't even be clicking that button when it pops up. Okay, they be saying that on the Bill Simmons yeah. podcast. I hear that all the time. They always say it, and I, I don't. I've never known. They like, oh, I'm gonna tease it down to. Da, 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 da. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's the opposite of buying points or something. Selling points. I mean, maybe. Let me see. The, chart? Mm. the definition. Right. Um, uh, holy sorry. shit. Dog, that oh, you're good. Man, like that dude thought he was a genius, man. Dog, like it's sixty four, but I'm gonna get it to sixty seven. Yeah, like came over. Yeah, to it says you can talking us all when you have two ga- two games, you can adjust the spreads on them. So like you can like sp- spread. Oh god, <laughs> you can like spread purple. the points out. Got it. Pause yeah, all this. not yet. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, uh, so yeah, fuck that real, but. No, <laughs> no, that shit was yo. They, they gotta fix the Pro Bowl, bro. Like, there's no way they can they can do that. Get rid of it. <laughs> it's for kids. Like, no, I get it. For, it's come for on, kids. Bro. That's, that's the Nickelodeon game for real. Nigga, they weren't doing anything in there. Seven Matt on seven Jones would be ran fun. seventy yards to fucking gritty with a live clock after the play got called dead. That is not a serious football game. 
which is hilarious because people just play hard after playing 17 fucking weeks of banging their heads into each other to come out to some no, I get it. charity event and do it again. We gonna go I think seven on seven would be lit. We're gonna bet the over yeah. next year and it'd be like fucking 13 to 10. The best pro You're ball gonna ball Literally, the only way to fix that from a competition standpoint is to get rid of that game. And like like Tyrell said, seven on seven, you got to make it something else because like yeah. you can't even rush the passer in that game. Or they, I don't do- know if you ever watched the live and they just they stand up and like rub each other's pecs. Like it's just weird hey, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was not the That's game I watched. I watched. <laughs> Doing that all day. Goodness gracious! Turn the corner, like oh, he got me, like <laughs> every time. Doc, that hey. shit was hilarious. The high camp, I was like, man, I knew we was down bad. I'm like, bro, we're up here in this morning betting and watching this. That's just embarrassing, bro. <laughs> Sad. Like, whenever I, I tell Amir I'm going to the ca- behind us, talk about it. Whenever I go to the casino now, Amira's like, oh, you're going to lose some more money? Like, I don't even get the benefit of the doubt anymore. Yeah. 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 It's, it's I'm telling you, I don't man. like the way you judging, Blake. Shut the fuck up. I told you, I man. Just, <laughs> y'all come in here like fucking sharks. Like, hey, man, look, I got this ticket, man. <laughs> y'all it, y'all it, hit four it, times combined across like 95 tickets. Man, this man. is true. Hey, and if you lived here, we'd be dragging your dumb ass to go do it with us, too. All right, I ain't betting. It makes it, Yeah, right. You, you'd be enticed. Them machines be talking to you, bro. All, all it takes is hey, a good, a good one. Hey, it's funny, because this is how an addiction works, but not that we're addicted. But all, but all every bet seems like a surefire bet in the moment. Like, every single parlay I've ever put in, I'm like, oh, easy money. Yeah, this $5, $5 to win 3600 <laughs> easy money, bro. Easy money. Seventeen leg parlay. <laughs> Dude, like, like when I told y'all I had that dream and I went up there before work that morning, and that's when the fucking the Knicks beat the goddamn Warriors. Bro, I was so disgusted. This nigga went before work. See, that's an addiction. I just be doing it for fun. That's this nigga absurd. Needs to, they you have work the couple early. You have one shift. That's <laughs> fucking insane. Dude, I had, I had a dream, man. I was like, dude, I, I had a dream. I cashed in. I was like, man, this nigga I have to go up here. Martin Luther idiot. The fuck? Oh uh, man, I believed it. And I'll- you disrupted the rest of your fucking day by getting up that early to lose some money. Dude. <laughs> that nigga had a that nigga had a set an alarm for like 35 minutes earlier. Dude. <laughs> That's crazy. And the Knicks didn't have RJ either. I'm like, nigga, this is cash money. This nigga step shot like two for 40. I'm like, what the fuck is going oh, on? This nigga Julius Randle put up like 40 and 15 and shit. Yeah, they lost because you did believe, unfortunately. And then, and then the next game, they blow a fucking 30-point lead to the Blazers. Like, man, fuck the Knicks, dude. Oh, we've been doing a lot of that. We we were up 28 on the fucking Nets, lost that game. It's disgusting. I'm just glad yeah. your team's not – Blake's team's not good while my team sucks. If It would be fucking hell for me. As long as you guys yeah. just waft in the stank with me, I'm good. Yeah, we down here, man. Our, our stank's a little different, though, because we're probably right on track where we're supposed to be. Y'all kind of have, like, four Hall of Famers in stank, so – it's different, but it's all good. Mm, who's yeah, all Adam up, you got four. Who? You got four. Mello, LeBron. Russ, oh, AD. Okay. Right. Hey, Mello ain't touched AD. AD, he's a Hall of Fame of the hospital. He's a Hall of Fame of the hospital, nigga. What are you talking about? He's a top 75. Three All-Star all games you're in. That's all it fucking takes. Uh, NBA, Charles, Bar- Charles Barkley be calling that nigga street clothes, and I completely agree. He's out for four weeks right now. That nigga That's stay like hurt. Clothes. Um, it did, yeah. It did look like it hurt, but everything that AD looks like it hurts. Everything what do y'all with think him that is like, like, how come? Like, obviously, some look, people get hurt more than other people. Some like, niggas, it's just luck, bro. Like, some niggas just have bad luck. No, is, no I think I legit think because you know how they always talk about, oh yeah, he was a point guard, and then one summer he grew from six one to like six eight or something like that. I feel no, like his no, body. Like, I think it was like his sophomore like his year in high school. Was a sophomore year. Yeah, it was a long right. ass time ago. I used to hate that shit. They'd be like, oh, you know, he has them point guards. Because like, he played point guard when he was fifth fucking team. Like, what are you no, talking about? Like, they talk anytime AD dribbles the ball, they literally bring it up. And I hate it every fucking time because he doesn't have point guard skills. He, his, his first year with us, his biggest knock was he doesn't know how to pass out of a double team. Like, he's un- incapable of passing out of a double team. That's not a point guard skill. But yeah, like, I think maybe like his body just wasn't. You know how some people's bodies be doing that shit where it's not built to be like that, but it is like that. Because every single time he falls, he like has to stay on the ground for a little bit. His lower extremities, he never has a yeah. shoulder injury or a back or a neck. It's always knee, foot, ankle, hip, 
thigh. Like it's always a leg thing. So I think like that's the only explanation I got other than like he broke his clip because there's no reason that he should be. It, wow. You did it too. <laughs> there's Talk legit. To I think there's, there's a Twitter account that keeps track of how many times he falls in a game. And I know they have it on the Lakers subreddit of how many times he falls in a game. Because he's just him always either, like, the biggest niggas ever to just be falling hella. Yeah, he's just always on the ground. And every time he's on the ground, it's not just like a, oh, he got knocked over, he hops right back up. It's like a, okay, okay, I'm good. How Peter used to fall on Family Guy? Ex- you, you joking, but that's exactly what he'd be looking like. <sighs> yeah, all the time. I don't understand it. They were. I was listening to something. Have, okay. Oh my! Oh my! You you guys got like a the M- NBA MVP race. Y'all got a an idea of who you think is like the favorite right now? I'm I, think, not I know the last time I looked, Embiid was the favorite. I think I think Embiid's gonna get it. But I'm starting I'm starting to warm up to the idea of Demar Derozan getting MVP. I've been looking at them odds. <laughs> Why is everything got to run some horror <laughs> betting? <laughs> No, I think uh, no. Jamar has been fucking cooking. I don't think he has a chance to win it because of how good both a uh, Embiid and Giannis would have been. I think if Embiid keeps up with how he's been playing, it's him. Um, but Giannis been cooking too. So who knows? can I ask? Like, so this this is why I asked this. Is nobody talking about Jokic just because he won it last year? No, people Probably. are talking. About he's second in the odds right now. He's first. He's just like first by this tracker. Oh, yeah. yeah. God don't, he's yeah. having an insane ass season. Yeah, he like he is, yeah. 14 and like eight or some shit like that. Nah, it's yeah, 26 I, points, 14 rebounds, eight assists, um, shooting 57% from the floor, 37% from deep. And he's playing with what is this? Let's see, uh, Monte Morris, Aaron Gordon, Will Barton, and Jeff Green. Buckets, yeah, his team, his so team is a 16 team. right now. Uh, the rap, the Bucks are fifth and they're not far off. Yeah, no. I mean, it's probably that because you, you know when teams like don't nobody be winning it when they're that far down. He's he's playing better than everybody. I like this is facts. For MVP. This is facts. But it, it hasn't it been like nobody's ever won the MVP on like a lower than a four seed other than Russ that one ridiculous year. Yeah, this might be worth it. This, this might be no, no. It's Yoke absolutely is absurd from the center position. No, no, he's not nice. fucking God. Leo. How does AD not see this and be like, wow, I want to be in that conversation? <laughs> I didn't start hooping. AD. Uh, I don't understand how he sees all these other – every other big man in the league is like, yeah, I'm not, I'm going to have a career year. And he's know, just I like, I oh, oh, um, deserve to be in that race a little bit. Just He's he's number nine on this. This is from the, the Basketball Reference MVP award tracker, and this uses – is ranks candidates based on a model built using previous voting results. Players must have played in at least 70% of league-wide mm-hmm. – 70% of the league-wide average for team games to qualify. So I think for DeRozan to spot. win, because how he's on this, like, I think he's, what, seven straight games with 35 points on 50% shooting or something like that. He'd have to keep that up for, like, a couple more months, and they'd have to finish as, like, a top two seed, I think. He need, well, they're, they're tied for first. In the That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, he'd have to keep this up, and he they'd the have Michael to keep Jordan that winning up. <laughs> no fucking this shot. This has Jokic one, Giannis two, Embiid three, Chris Paul four, Gobert wow. five, Curry six, Doncic seven, Morant eight, DeRozan nine, and Booker ten. Okay, yeah, I feel like that's a good order. But yeah, I I feel like it could be like because yeah, like Jokic's year has been incredible. I feel like every day I look up, Embiid is doing something just that like stat lines be ridiculous, really ungodly. Like his stat lines are ridiculous. Luca, same thing. It's like Luca likes to go for. He just went for like forty five last night or something like that. Yeah. Like yeah, they just you know maybe it's um, so I've seen Embiid probably talked about the most, and like that's the the crazy part between him and Jokic. Like Jokic is shooting fifty seven percent from the floor, four threes a game. Embiid shooting forty nine percent. God damn, that's a big ass difference. Yes, yeah. Hey, like, hey, honestly, one of them plays in Philly and one of them plays in the Mountain Time Zone, and one's Africa. And Jokic did win it last year. Like, I definitely think that's part of it. Like him winning it last year, I think is a big reason why people aren't talking about him. Are you shitting me? Nah, Jokic. You, you know Jokic how it is. is. You, I know. I, I hear yeah, you. You know how I'm it is. Saying, this fucking roster, he has the sixty. But like. that being said. <laughs> You you just said he's first, so like people ain't got to be talking about him if he if he keeps this up. You can't really deny it once it comes time to lay them votes down. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I need yeah, the more yeah, this track MVP today. so I can push this agenda. Damn, when's the last time a, is Larry Bird the last white American to win MVP? 
I think that's got to be it. Damn, Steve, Steve Nash. Nash. Huh? No, he's Canadian. Never mind. He's Canadian. Yeah. Just Steve kidding. Nash is African. Damn. Actually. Mm. Stockton never got one. Fuck no. No, definitely not. Okay. He got. Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, fuck no. Fuck that guy. Too. I that's forgot why he about took that. his uh, season tickets from Chicago. Uh, <laughs> literally just talking about him playing basketball. <laughs> Jamal's the funniest because Jamal will reach into every bag t- <laughs> to let you know he hates somebody. Nah, that's hey, funny. I, I, see, I see you got a bouncy house behind you, man. Fuck that company that makes those. If you didn't know, uh, the guy that made them shot an elephant in 1964. Fuck poachers? Face. Yeah, fuck poachers. All my homies hate poachers, actually. Unless they're poaching Stop meat for me. All star MVP. Oh, mm. bro. Mm-hmm. So nobody's ever going to get them. Steals those, they might as well not even show that record all the time. Well, it's just since he's yeah, his stats are fucking stupid. Yeah, he played hell long. I guess if you average like nine, ten assists for fucking 19 years, like, yeah, that's mm-hmm. magic would have been up there, but even he's having too much sex. <laughs> what dog? <laughs> oh, speaking of magic and sex, you guys ready for that? Uh, that Lakers show, holy shit. I need to get ready. That's in a couple weeks, right? It's like two weeks to be first week of March, I think it comes out. I don't know. I don't be looking at dates like that. Especially we got other shit coming on. I watch oh we'll watch that though. It'll be good. Oh yeah, I'm about to I'm watch it. I'm ready for we get snowfall back next week. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm ready for uh I need to see what's going on with uh Euphoria, man. Rue might be the greatest athlete of all time. <laughs> yeah, she man, another episode since then. Nah, there's been one more. It yeah, happened uh, last episode. She's running again. I don't know. It was the last episode was on Super Bowl. I fucking fell asleep. Oh shit! We didn't talk about the Super Bowl halftime show. You guys like that shit? It was cool. Greatest Guess of all time. time. It was dope. Greatest was dope. of all fucking time. That was crazy. Like, just oh man, oh man. Was that was that was hella awesome. Fun. Incredible. It was hella fun to watch. It was hella fun to watch. Was, I had been betting my, my coworker Brantley for like six weeks that Fifty was not going to be there, and of course that motherfucker hangs down from a goddamn ceiling. Nope. Nope. Go. That shit was tight. Yeah, that shit was tough. It was hella hard having the niggas in the in the khaki in the Leon khaki suits out there sea walking. That shit was tough. Yeah, and have the, that like, was the, oh, the LA man. map. Yeah, I know. Like, people yeah, from mm-hmm. people was what? No, I, was, I know them uh, old people losing their mind when Fifty was performing. And he had all them bitches <laughs> in the little cube with him. I mean, uh, respect the <laughs> <for> ladies. <laughs> yeah, fuck them old people. Uh, um, no, it was it was dope though. Like from starting out with like Snoop and Dre coming out, and then uh, mm-hmm. Snoop doing some solo shit. Switched to what Fifty after that. Then the next up was Eminem, I believe. Yeah, and then Mary. I thought did it go, did did it go Mary. 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 Yeah, Eminem ended. Yeah, yeah, Eminem ended it. Okay, yeah. No, everybody, yeah, everybody just brought the fucking energy, dog. Like, yeah. It was it, it never went down in there. Like that nope. shit was crazy. It, the only thing I'm mad at is it wasn't longer. Like they only had 15 minutes. I do like it would have been hella tight to get to see them all perform more shit together. They gotta they gotta bag that shit up and hit a tour together. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I'd go. Shakur would go. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna see them old niggas. I'm gonna be making fun yeah. of it, but I'm gonna be right there. Yeah, we went we went to an old school night concert where we didn't know like half the people there. Of course you went. Nigga, we watched Flotus. <laughs> what are you talking about? Damn, it was much, but old niggas there. Hey, see, we talk DMX. Niggas. That's crazy. R.I.P. Rip. Yep, still got the video on my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah, that shit was tight, though. I hope they do uh, more. Shout out to Dr. Like Dre's time. Real nigga. I don't, I don't know what the hell they got um, after this. Like, like for the next awesome. year, they got the hell. How, how do, what do you book after this? Like, I don't know. Where's yeah. the next Super Bowl? It's in Arizona. Like, you can, there's not even there's not an Arizona yes. artist you pick from. No, nah, they got Hot like, Rod and uh, Willie North Pole. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Larry Fitzgerald starts freestyling. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like it would be tight because like I feel like there's just been some like lame ones in the past. Like I don't I don't mind Maroon Five, but it's just like I don't want to. I don't feel like that's like a great Super Bowl act. The Bruno Mars one where he brought out Beyonce was a good one. That was but cool. I feel like actually it wasn't Bruno Mars's. It wasn't. Mm-mm. That was cool. Like, play when like Bruno Mars came out okay. information. Bruno Mars had his own. Oh, okay. But then when Beyonce was there, that was cold place. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that one was good. I wouldn't mind seeing Beyonce just get her own, but I I feel like she wouldn't do that. They gotta get some young she rappers would. out there, man. Let's get some no, uh, they don't. some Migos, <laughs> some Mega Stallion, some Cardi B. Holy shit. Do the white. Well, you video. could just give QC the halftime show. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Be some Duke dudes. Incredible. Little baby. They they showed the All Star performers for uh, all to the All Star weekend, and three oh. of I think the five slots are occupied by QCX. I think it's oh. Baby Gunna, Migos. And then I think they have like four two Doug and one other person. Oh wow! Damn, okay. shout out to forty two yeah. Doug. Hey, you, give Car- you give Cardi a Super Bowl, that would be fucking tight. Just give her one by herself. That'd be a great time. Yeah, I'll be up there. <laughs> yeah, let me go to the game. I'm gonna just stand on the roof like Brit or uh, Lady Gaga. I'm gonna be on the stage. <sighs> you Maybe. will get shot, sir. Shout out to Cardi. Anyway, <laughs> okay. We got any more sports shit we need to cover? We have, oh, I guess we didn't uh, talk about the All Star game itself. Oh, we haven't talked about. Oh, we haven't talked since the trade deadline, have we? About the the yes, Harden trade. Yeah, we did that. Oh, okay, we, we did. That. Oh, we literally. Went was, down the I we talked about like how pissed Embiid probably was to work that hard to get that good and have Simmons be your teammate. And yeah, man, fuck Ben Simmons. Okay, Why you say that? I just don't fuck with a man. I had hot. I used to fuck with him, and then I just don't like how he he did the whole. Uh, you don't like his get down. Yeah, I, I ain't fucking with it. It's like, bro, like it's, what? What did he do that you didn't like? Elaborate, man. Talk. He's like, he like this, crying this and complaining. He's like, oh man, I'm I'm not gonna play because uh, Doc Rivers said he he don't know if they can win a finals with me. It's like, yeah, nigga, of course they know that they don't know if they can win a finals with you being the point guard. Like, nigga, you didn't want to put a layup <laughs> against uh, Trey Young in the paint, nigga. And he's like, you know what's crazy about that? Fifty pounds. What? He never said anything. Well, he obviously sat out. Then he tried to use the, oh, man. My, what they say he wasn't playing? Because uh, he had mental health mental issues health. and stuff. Yeah. Now, we know why. He was salty how that shit He said that was out. just the last six months. But he said whatever the issue was that stopped him from being with the team, it was long before the playoff series. That's what he said in his, yeah. in his press conference. That, yeah, the, the end, like the... The Doc Rivers and the, shit, the Doc Rivers shit specifically was kind of wild, and I could definitely see that being like the nail in the coffin. Like, hey, I really don't already want to be here, and then you just fucking flame me up at the press he conference. Didn't even I'm flame really him up. Him. He just said, "I don't he know." Kinda he kind of did. Come on, I don't know. <laughs> he kind of flamed but him see, up. But like those were like those were the talking points that we have that we were, that were given to us by beat reporters and their sources, but they oh, never say like who they are. Like, Ben Simmons never said any of this. I'm telling you from what I know, know anything, I think really? that nigga's a bitch, and I don't fuck with him. God damn. <laughs> and, if, and, if, if, and if Joel Embiid's like, fuck him, then I'm right with Joel Embiid. Like, yeah, I'm going to keep it a buck. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep it a buck as a, as a working man. You know he's I not fucking with him. Hate, you hating your bosses sometimes, you know? Sometimes you just got to say, fuck this job. Oh, that nigga. Hey, uh, Ben. Ben, You're not even a Philly fan. Why are you so mad? Butt, your butt naked wide open. Shoot the three. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let me go. Nah, also passing up the layup. Fucking nuts. That was absolutely oh, That nuts. was insane. <laughs> it was. I was that like, was nuts. Dude, like Trey Young was right there. Nigga, I'd put up a layup, a layup in front of Trey uh, yeah, Young right His there. mental health issue might have been, I can't yeah. play in Philly well, again, man. Shoot. He might have, but yeah. I put it up. That nigga, pat, that nigga did a between the legs, behind the back, elbow pass out of a layup, bro. <laughs> Like, come on, fam. What are you doing? Can you, know, Jason no, can you imagine in the if that's like you're like if you're like a diehard Philly, you know how pissed off you'd have to be? You know, nah. when, you know when you, you niggas like punch their like Blake TV? said, if you're in bead and you've been like you had to work, like literally get it out the mud, like he did, coming off all them injuries and shit, I would lose my fucking mind. Like it wouldn't have been no saying nothing in the press conference. You gotta have to hold me back from smacking the shit out of Ben. We lose that game that way. Bro, I, I yeah. got I gotta put my hands on you, bro. I'm sorry. Like, you know, <laughs> No, the nigga, man, you just see this, like, amazing athlete, just so physically gifted, he's talented, all defense. Bro, like, don't get that nigga the ball because he, he don't want the ball in, like, tight situations because if he gets fouled, he's going to shoot the uh, the free throw over the fucking hoop like the nigga off Hey Arnold did. Like It is I, – I, it's still very surprising to me that, like, NBA players – not that he hasn't gotten better, but just NBA players were like, your whole shit is just to, like – Work on your game, you know. What and does he this thing like of doing off? He don't be working on his game, it. bro. I'm telling he, you, he's like, got become the worst like, free throw shooter. Nigga, like we, I've never, I feel like me personally, like my years of watching basketball, I've never seen an NBA player improve their game as much as someone like, uh, like Blake Griffin. Like, remember when Blake Griffin first came into the league? He yeah, could literally just sure. jump over mountains and shoot on people. Yeah, Every year he started yeah. expanding his range. He can better ball handler. You can run the offense through him. 
good passing, could shoot. Nigga, he can shoot threes. He can make free throws. <laughs> yes, he lost me a bet because he hit five threes in the first half. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That's crazy. Bro, hey, like, yeah, you can like, say that about a lot of guys, Lonzo though. Like, Lonzo Ball, like his jumper and free throws improved. Hey, if, if you remember when Kawhi came in the league. And, yeah, people being improved. Kawhi, like, like ben Simmons Kawhi came in the league and could play defense and lay up. And that nigga is a bucket, man. The thing, like Ben Simmons... Like we've seen clips of him shooting though, like in, in yeah. practice and shit like that. In Against gyms. us, like it's not that he can't. It's just like he, I know, but like the motion is still there. Like he still drops buckets in those yeah. scenarios. So it ain't like he can't shoot. It's just he won't. And they go fuck us up in twenty one. Which yes, is, I agree, even weirder. Yeah, it's even yeah. Weirder. So it's it's something. It's something in here. Like and yeah, and he seems to have gotten like worse around the rim because. <laughs> At the end of the day, he's like a six ten. Like he's bigger than just about everybody that's not a center. And he's that still like that. Makes me believe like what he said about it, like his mental health issues more though, yeah. just because like we've literally seen him shoot in no pressure situations before, and he refuses to do it in an NBA game. Like something's yeah. not right with him. Honestly, clearly. there could be just some some foul shit going on in Philly because I mean Markel Fultz like got there immediately like was having mental health issues and it broke we his heard fucking about game. Him, though. We heard a we heard a little. There were some rumors about what happened to him. Well, I mean they yeah they talked about the shit with like his mom being like demanding or whatever and like no not even shit that. Like, that like he uh I think there was a rumor that like he like got hurt in a, a ATV or a dirt bike accident. Oh yeah, they did say that where he fucked his shoulder. Got up. Nerve damage. Oh, and, I did. Hmm. Okay, I forgot. About yeah. That. I forgot about that. So like we couldn't go to his house. Yeah. <laughs> Getting hurt. Oh my god. Yeah, this nigga hurt his fucking funny. elbow trying to do a wheelie on a dirt bike. You fucking big head. <laughs> okay, he was cold too. Like you watching like his draft tape. Like yo, this nigga oh, yeah. nice. Hey, he's had a couple. He's had moments too where it's like, hey, yeah. this motherfucker. Do you is remember nice. those first clips when they were like showing him like shooting the free throws and thought like I'm like no, I'm not even trying to sit. I'm not trying to be like that. No, he he was shooting like he was like. Like special, bro. Like dog, like he was shooting like <laughs> he nah, he had that like hiccup. He would start the shot and yeah, then stop the like shot. And start it again. Or like like you would pause him or something. <laughs> I'm like, bro, yeah, what's wrong nah, with this nigga? Like, is it something know. wrong with his equilibrium or he got he got to Orlando and started shitting on shit and then got hurt. Like everybody that goes yeah, to Orlando. Knee made out of paper plates. The styrofoam ones, the ones that are hella loud when you like fold them in half. I think that. That's a that's a hilarious like all time bad pick because it was like Lonzo was like the consensus number one and then Marco Fultz just kind of jumped in out of nowhere and it was like nah it, it just wasn't he got the second contract already did he get paid from yeah. the Orlando or, Orlando gave him a little deal because he was playing okay. all right yeah. he was looking solid no yeah, he was definitely would be really there. could you imagine if Philly had Jason Tatum right now. Nick, yeah, could you imagine they if the really Lakers had Jason Tatum? No, but they had. Remember, they traded. They swapped picks. Oh, with yeah, they uh, did. the Celtics. Yeah, they did swap picks. Okay. This, yeah, the Celtics didn't want Fultz, so they would have had Tatum. That would have been <laughs> absolutely incredible. To see. Might have they, I think they probably would have won a championship. Yeah, know. they might have a championship. Honestly, because yeah. you wouldn't need Ben to be the shooter. Just go play some defense, you big yeah. bitch. <laughs> yeah. Go do, I am interested to see what Ben looks like bitch. in in uh in Brooklyn. Like when Brooklyn's fully healthy. And especially if their mask mandate or their vaccine shit gets lifted and Kyrie can like play all the games. Cause like, I don't think he's ever been, I obviously he hasn't, he's not been in a, like a pressure free situation. Like he really will be not that there's not pressure on the nets. So there will be some pressure on him, but it's like, we don't particularly need you to like space or nothing like that. Just nope. take, take Blake don't Griffin's minutes. Shoot. Yeah. Do what yeah. Blake Griffin does, but without the shooting. So yeah. not Blake Griffin. But Blake Griffin's not like a consistent knockdown shooter, and they added Seth Curry, so they got a shooter in the deal too. Yeah, it's just you you get out there and guard their best player and uh pass the ball. Yeah, and Kyrie clearly didn't have no problems going to be at a two guard once James Harden got there and was like, Yeah, I'm the point guard now. I hope they like Kyrie's the ball fine with the hands in like clutch situations in the playoffs. I heard <laughs> that uh, one of the big complaints that that Harden had that made him leave there was that the Nets the wanted to run a uh, oh yeah, a little Kevin Durant on the next run like a free flowing offense where the ball just moves around and stuff like that, sort of like the, the Warriors. But obviously, um, Harden is more so like an ISO type player. So yeah, um, I saw just, that they said that. And then when I Kyrie came back, I think it made things even more difficult. So yeah, 
Yeah, that situation. If and from what he said, he was like, yeah, when I was leaving Houston the first time, I wanted to go to Philly. I wanted but like, to go to Philly. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I feel like in our heads, obviously, it was like, oh, they're probably friends. And Bomani made the point of like, uh, I got friends, but my friends don't got to be your friends. He probably got around Kyrie. He was like, this nigga weird, bro. And and we not really getting it in like that. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. Kyrie like it was probably KD. Kind of weird. If it was if it was just Harden and KD full time, I think they might have been solid, but. Adding in Kyrie, who's just an enigma of a human and basketball player, I think is uh, Kyrie be toxic. Some rest. funny ass shit. That should be hilarious. Kyrie, a funny nigga in general. He, he is kind of funny, low key. You know, they were like, "Do you do you feel guilty or take any responsibility about how things have worked about worked out?" He's like, "Nah, that's just y'all that be making shit seem like that. I don't feel guilty about anything." It's like, I mean, you kind of the part time player, just cause like yeah, I, you kind of fucking. I, fuck, I fuck with him more and more by the day. Like I, I really respect like I guess him sticking to his choices in exception the consequences. Too, and, and, like I respect that nobody like he he wasn't begging to come back. This wasn't no shit of him trying to fake the system like that. Their their owner. Like was like, yo, we're fucking losing games a lot, and now we're out a ton of players. So uh, I'm gonna just change that rule, the hard rule that we had yeah. before. Kyrie, if you want to play road games, come on down. No, yeah, like, yeah. I respect he it. He'd have sure. been fine sitting at home doing whatever the fuck he was doing before. Like, and yeah, just for sure. He was shutting up about. It. He didn't say nothing. I know people tried to get him like for. They said like he was spreading COVID conspiracies, but the fact is he never said anything about that either. They just assumed that that was the case with him. So what it's is like that thing he, he posted on Instagram about the COVID shit. He posted something. Did he post something or did he like something? Man, it was something. They, he was liking I some shit. I think he was like remember. liking shit. That's what. That's because he likes something, which is like you only fucking know that if you're going through his people that he follows and looking at what he likes, which is absurd. <laughs> and you have no context of what that like meant either. Hey, some people doesn't like wild shit, though. Funny. You got to look at him a little funny. You don't know what the like means? Like when, uh, <laughs> no, like remember when Mort like, Wagner was like liking all that, uh, what happened with Moritz Wagner when he was on the Lakers? Remember he was liking all that crazy like racist shit or something like or um, something with like Nazis or something. I feel like I vaguely remember this, but I don't. Like, I don't he was like, it's, hell a, it's a like on a, an account. Like you, I don't know. Like I'm not attributing shit to that. Like I don't know. Like all right. It's a little different when you lack in some racist shit. You kind of yeah, really that's, that's, like, that's like, different I, to you because yeah. we obviously we're more biased toward it. But at the same time, it's like all right. You I don't see know one of the homies what, liking like what was going uh, on with that like. Like 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 some like some weird kid shit like some weirdo like you need to be under a well, shit. Like, one, can you verify people. that it was him on an account doing that? Because one, these it, are it, people it, with it, high it profiles. It was Morris Wagner's ver- verified account. Hold Why on, you, you can't verify them? it was him doing it though. Say what? You can't verify it was him doing it though. Oh, like somebody might have hacked his account. Because these are these are people with high profiles. Mm-hmm. Everybody's looking at them. So it's like if you're going to make an example out of somebody, let's say you're going to ransom somebody's account back to them, you're not going to pick one of us three. You're going to pick someone with a blue check who's like notable, who like you could fuck up their public reputation if you get on their account or do something with it. So one, already not like it. The the person's it, it's got to be more than than that. Like I need to like see them do some shit, you know. So it's like a like from an account like that's not anything. Um. But yeah, the, Kyrie liking the stuff from the account, like whatever. Like he never talked about it. He never bigged it up or nothing like that. It was just he clicked the fucking button. Like I don't know. Like that's it. Like he didn't. He hasn't said shit else. Like they asked him, Malcolm, he didn't want to do. It. He said he's not comfortable. And then like that was it. And he shut the fuck up and went away. Oh, yeah. No, like, yeah. I don't know. I respect him think that was good. I, but I'm just saying, like when when you liking shit, like I'm not gonna hate you for like liking certain shit, but like. I see you liking certain shit. I'm gonna be looking at you funny. It's like, all right, why is this nigga liking? A nigga posted a uh, COVID was created in a lab in New Zealand and tested on all this other stuff. It's like, yo, why? What's wrong? With it? Why is this? Something's off with this nigga. Like, why? Why you liking shit like that? But whatever. Play basketball. I guess it's just it's just yeah. weird to see what people be liking or just doing with social media. Period. I guess social media get people <laughs> fucked up out of here. It's a fact. Yeah, no, nah, it is. But. Yeah, I don't really fuck with like Kyrie's whole shit. I, not enough to say I even hate him. I just I don't like him. He's whatever. And his shoes are starting to get like trashed too now. So, oh no, hey, he did say. Uh, remember he said this last shoe. He was like, I had no creative input on this. Yeah, no, like he told people not shoe. to buy the shoe. They're getting lazy. Yeah, they, oh. uh, they kind of were lazy before. The first like six look exactly the same. They found a good design and they just not the it. first six. I... After one and two and three, maybe after three, 
Because one, two, and three were distinctively for... different from each other. Maybe. I feel like there was just years where they added a strap. Yeah, I, I don't think you're talking about Kobe. Added a strap. No, Kobe's definitely looked the same, but Kyrie's did too. Yeah. I don't if know, I, man. If, if you, if Nike's never, lazy, it don't bro, matter. Bro. It don't matter. A lot, a lot of the signature shoes are low-key got to ask. Oh, also, I like hey, fuck you, Nike. I, hey, I'm sorry. We're never Nike's never sponsoring this podcast anyway, but fuck Nike. They didn't say nothing about no drawing for those Big Bang LeBrons the whole time. I've been waiting for those. I got paid today. Won some money. I was one. That shit said 240 retail. I know it was after tax. It was going to be like 260 something. I was ready to slam down the big joker on it, bro. I'm like, hey, hey, fuck it. Take that shit out of my <laughs> account right now. I need it. That shit said drawing on there. Of course, your submission was not selected. Dog, do you know what them shits are people are reselling those for now? Four. Nigga, like four fifty and up. Good lord. I thought, yeah, you I that's where you were telling us you were out at the normal price. Nah, I, I was gonna pay you the did. normal price. I, I can't pay over five. I can't pay that, bro. Like I'm I'm not gonna have Did them. you pay that for some lace up them shelf shoes? Yeah, I paid like three something for a pair of those. Well, Tyrell got me one pair for a discount. Or did you give me two pairs yeah. of discount? No, I got the one. They, yeah, I, think I, got the, I got the second one that like three something. But nigga, that ain't four fifty. And then after tax, that's five hundred. You be rocking them shits. What? I'm you gotta charge them up. Those, those shoes are actually really comfortable. It's just annoying that you gotta like you gotta plan to wear them because you gotta pull out that goddamn uh that tablet <laughs> shit to charge them. Uh, you really do gotta charge them. That's hilarious. Yeah, no. But hey, the that's app funny. is really good though. I, I, I if they weren't four fifty, I kind of like the the lace them lace them up yourself elevens or whatever that they made. But I'm not paying four fifty for those. There's no fucking shot. Yeah, no, those are kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not paying four fifty for almost anything ever. Yeah, really? <laughs> that it's being cool said, like, it's cool when you like hey, tying them up. To, sure. you hear the if you just don't gamble mm-hmm. for a couple weeks, you could afford a pair. Dog, you I'm, absolutely could. There's so many things <laughs> that you'd be like, man, I'm trying to get this, and you're like, man, that shit's too much. If you just stop. <laughs> Doing the shit that you be doing, you could do it. Hey, fuck you. You could have uh, that Halo Xbox. Fuck you, um, Marty Bird, Mr. Accountant Man over here. <laughs> fuck out of here. Fuck Nike, dude. Like, they, come on, man. 240 retail. How the fuck, do, how the fuck those cost more than some phones? Oh, you got a Series hey, S? Hey, that's not real. What is that? That's a Series S. No, it's a display case for one. What is nah, that? What, one of my homies was like, uh, I want to stop playing video games, so I'm just going to give you my Series S until I can sell it. But he's trying to sell that bitch for four hundred dollars, and he ain't ever going to sell it. What? So I'm just going to keep the, it. In the Series S, only two ninety nine. He's trying to sell yeah, it like his, 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 he's trying to sell it with like two or three games, I think, and some controllers or something like that. I was what like, oh, if you're gonna, uh, Call of Duty. Pretty, I, not open? I think it, I think it's Call of Duty. I don't uh, know. Hey, he he was like, oh, will you hold on to this uh, for me until I can sell it? And I was like, yeah, sure. Well, how much are you trying to sell it for? Because I was like, oh, if you try to sell it for 200 bucks or something, I'll buy it from you. This nigga's at 400. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll hold on to it. That's it. Enjoy <laughs> the fuck that out of that. Xbox. But yeah, so I might, I might start playing that shit while I got it. Yeah, Fiddle around. You have a Halo Lamp game party. Pass. Why not? Yeah, I think that nigga might have Game Pass already, if I'm not mistaken. Get on down. Man. Yeah, hey, I'm about bro. to, I, you about to see me as uh, KJ of Wa, but I'll be on there. Oh, that's who's trying mm-hmm. to, okay. Yeah, Shout yeah, out that nigga, he, this nigga bought, he got a launch day PS5. He got the shit before I did, uh, had it for three months and sold it. And then was like, oh, I want to start playing video games again. I'm going to buy a Series S. And then sold it again, or wants to sell it now. And you know what that means? Yeah, we'll talk about it off air. <laughs> yeah, but... yeah, I already told him. I said it to him. That's the, know, uh, I, t- I said, you, you know a nigga starting to go broke when they start selling their shit. Yeah, that's the young nigga bankruptcy when niggas got to start selling their shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm just trying to focus hey, on me, bro. Like, hey, if, it is hey, what it you is ain't never right been now. down bad if you ain't ever thought about it. When I when I had, was out of work for a couple weeks, I was like, God damn, I, I mean, if I flip my PlayStation real quick, I could get it back eventually. But nah, niggas, niggas extra funds. $200, be like, fuck, I'm still fucked up, but now I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. I ain't got no that's a good point. Do. Bro, that'd be hilarious. Like, and, dog, and when niggas like sell them, they bro, they be having the worst deals. Yep. Like, oh, I'm trying to sell it for five hundred. Like, nigga, the system's three fifty right now. I'm like, dog, selling a Series S for four hundred dollars is fucking insane. Yeah, that's hilarious. Like, I get it's coming yeah. with some games. That's insane. That's, those are the deals. I, think like, I just shared a deal with y'all where this shit was two twenty nine. Yeah, from Staples. Yeah, dude, that's you put that on like offer up, and a nigga tells you, yeah, sure, and then wherever location they say, they just say they're there too, and they just rob you. For that deal, 
No, hey, me in front of the police station. Somebody, somebody uh, over by the mall today was trying to sell a PS5, and the nigga shot him and took it. What? Uh, I was like 33rd and Cushman or something. Yeah, nigga pulled up with a PS5, and the nigga was like, thank you. Bop, bop. That's here. crazy, bro. Imagine yeah, shooting somebody over a console. Shit's, shit's, shit's really been kind of low-key a war zone over here. I think uh, there was four robberies the other night on the same little strip. Niggas robbed the tax place. I don't. I don't think the tax place even keep cash on hand. No, oh, they got cash. Do they? Because they don't. I'm, like, I'm keep, assuming. I was they say do. they don't give you like your tax return and cash from there. That's hilarious. Blake, no, Blake that's... can't hear me. You can hear me. Oh, holy shit! Is it me? What? <gasps> I can hear you. Yeah, I hear everything just fine. No. Um. Are you good? Uh, hopefully that shit doesn't come through too bad on my microphone. But my um. Computer speakers have been on this whole entire time. Oh, well. I was playing the Macarena. I haven't heard anything. At least. No, I haven't heard nothing either. It's been good. All right. Nah, man. Hey, uh, shout out to him, though, man. I hope he sells that, uh, that Xbox. I hope he doesn't, honestly. Because if he, he was like, yeah, I want to just get rid of it so I can focus on school for the rest of the school year. I'll keep that bitch for a year. You got, as, Kanye as got as a, a better friend. chance of getting his wife back than him getting that offer 400. That's crazy. No You're one right. in, like the fact that you can buy you, the shit, by, you can play parlay the nigga selling that system for that. Wait, it's twenty four dollars a month to get the system and Game Pass included. Why would I pay four hundred dollars for it? Are you kidding me? You gonna yeah. you try to catch someone during tax season that ain't gonna Google shit? <laughs> That's really it. <laughs> and it's a Series F. Like them shits just sit on the shelves everywhere, dog. What? No, that's what it is. You gonna you gonna catch somebody's mom who's like just yep. like, oh, my kid said he wanted that new Xbox, man. So let me go get this one. Yeah, it's only four hundred right here. They wanted how much for the other one? Yeah, this one's smaller and it's white. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Damn. Fit right here. That's crazy, man. Now nah, shout out to Hood Bank. Speaking of video man. games, have uh have either have either of y'all been on Sifu very much? This last week? Fuck no. Tell us about uh, it. I'm fucking nice. I'm fucking nice now. The third boss been kicking my ass, but it's like after you kind of learn uh, the first couple of bosses, you, I can like, now I can get to the third level at age 20 without dying. Jesus uh, Christ. Yeah, I be I seen a nigga today got to the last level at age 20, beat one of the bosses without taking no damage. I don't know how niggas be doing it, but yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting kind of nice. I was trying to beat the shit before Horizon came out. So I put in like four hours the other night trying to be cute and got my ass whooped. So I had to put it down for a day or two. But I'm uh, going to try to beat that shit this weekend. Get on that horizon. Can't wait to see how that looks. That Very shit looks excited amazing. about that. I bet. That shit looks crazy. I fucking bet. I'm you said you played it for like 15 minutes. Was that just like the tutorial kind of? Tutorial. Kind of, I was playing it a little bit uh, today after when I got home from work. That shit looks dope, though. You got to get definitely got to get used to uh, having your main uh, weapon be a goddamn bow and arrow in the game. But. Once you get back used to it, like that, it feels good though, and it looks amazing. Yeah, I remember y'all were talking about not really remembering the story from Horizon One. Have either of you guys like watched any of the no, I don't have things or played? Okay, I just know there's a uh, the white woman she trying to save the world from the uh, the red blight stuff, and I know the black nigga from the wire. He's the evil, the evil shifty nigga that like set her up. I mean, he he helped her. Yeah, but he like he he did some 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 shady shit, dude. He yeah, this is true. Him. Yes, uh, Help him crossed. Yeah, he, he did. He did finesse professor finesse. What was his name? Silence or something? Yeah, silence. Yeah, yeah I've been fucking with it. Oh, uh, what's it? So like, yeah, there's uh, another good. There's another prominent actor in that in that uh, game. Fucking uh, oh, Angela, Angela Bassett's, Bassett's in, in it. Yeah, yep. Angela Bassett and 40, the chick 40, that played 40. a Trinity in. I don't know if you could 40, 40, 40, a woman who's 60. That's kind of wild. Uh, the woman that played Trinity in The Matrix is in it, too, though. Catherine. Uh, we don't acknowledge any, any of those Matrix movies after that last one. Glad you guys watched it, so I didn't didn't have to. Hey, uh, hey Blake, I know so I know how you've been spending your week. I want to, you want to, can you give us a recap of uh, the Bel Air show that you've been watching? Yeah, sure. Um so Bel Air came out. I don't know. If it came out two weeks ago. I um, think so. That sounds right. There's four episodes out now, though. So I think they dropped three initially. Now it's up to four. Um, yeah, but sort of a, just a retelling of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air story. Um, you got Will coming from Philly, escaping well, literally a fight on the b-ball court. Except this shit, um, they show the fight and they show 
why he has to leave. Um, because easy the black captain wants his head. So he gets out of there, gets on over to Bel Air, like you know. Um, but I think this is so it's sort of like a like a way more I think realistic take on how things would go in that scenario. You have the extremely wealthy black family where the um the mom and the dad both came from um lower income backgrounds where they they had more of like the typical black experience and now they have these kids who are only used to living in beverly hills and growing up a very certain way with tons of money and um not really ever facing any sort of plights yeah um and will's coming into that being a kid from the hood and having to adjust to all of that stuff and just almost like he doesn't speak the same language as his cousins. Like it, it, yeah. it's almost, it's almost like that. So do, they have, um, do uncle Phil and Viv have the same like career path and all that stuff. Like uh, Phil's the judge or whatever. Or? Phil is right now running to be a uh, Los Angeles County DA. Okay. Um, he's campaigning for it at the moment. And yeah. He's a, he's a very prominent lawyer though. Um, that's where all of his money is from. And then okay. Aunt Viv is a art teacher but she's trying to get back into actually doing art. Um, so let's see, like the, I think the third episode, they, um, the third one, uh, the third or second, second episode was pretty good where they, um, uncle Phil like went to go tap back in with, um, his sorority, uh, not sorority for fraternity brothers, um, in order to, cause one of the, his brothers is a reverend who I guess is like, um, a pretty like a, a community leader in the black community there in LA okay. and like he wanted his endorsement because it would help him out a ton and like there was this whole this whole dynamic there of like like I was saying like of of Uncle Phil now being someone else than he was like when he was in college just because his career is taken in a certain place and like that dynamic of like within black people of, like how success might kind of change us and like people feel like you're not being authentic to yourself you're not being authentically black um yeah. is that kind of conversations and stuff going on and how how you deal with that how you address that um there's you're seeing um carlton trying to sort of I heard network and finesse his way oh uh, he's he's a super fucking op but he's I trying to like, <laughs> he's trying to like finesse his way through this to get like some advancement for himself because he wants he wants this internship um and this is a conversation that him and will had because like he wants his internship really bad and someone there can help him get it because like he's like the the number one person for like funeral homes in la county and like carlson's trying to get with him what the fuck? to have an internship there uh, Wait, it, that, he does, does he wants to be like a funeral director or something no 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 just because like having that many funeral homes and doing that much business as a it it, it has to do with like real estate and stuff like that like oh uh, okay okay his, his business is funeral homes but more so he just wants in the business as an intern not Got necessarily it. anything to do with funeral homes he just wants in because he, he has a some random, in there too i guess that's a oh, random that's business you want to tap into <laughs> that telephone it's, it's more so about how much money they're moving yeah um Shit. so we should start a business like that Carlton's explaining to Will how come he wants to do this thing really bad. And like, Will's like, Carlton, like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're rich. You can get her to any school you want to. Like, he's like, well, Will, just because I'm rich doesn't mean I want shit handed to me. Like, I actually kind of want to earn this. And like, there was like that kind of dynamic between him and Will. It was like, Will's like, what the fuck? Why would you purposely struggle for this shit? Like when you, um, you can go get anything. Like I've been struggling the whole entire time. Like I can't believe someone would purposely put themselves in an adverse situation just to, um, to get some shit that like I would never dream of having in the first place. I think it was he trying to get to some Ivy League school, basically stuff like that. So it's just like all those kinds of like different little conversations, the dynamics that they, they play out on here that I think it's a really good show, man. Um, I've been enjoying it. I haven't heard yeah. anything bad about it. I gotta, I'm gonna probably start it this weekend. I gotta tap in. You've definitely sold me on watching it because the trailers was like, what the fuck? Why is this happening? Um, it's still interesting that because it's yeah, I said it last night. It's still interesting that they chose to like stick with like all the same character stuff but then do everything different it would it seems like it would just have to modernize it a little different bit. altogether you, you got to think about it like the same way like you you would think about like a you know like uh, how game of thrones book readers might look at the show differently yeah like yeah. you did this with my characters or whatever or like how comic book readers might look at like comic book movies like yeah the the base inspiration for the thing is coming from that but like we're gonna tell it in this way it doesn't yeah. mean that like yeah it's just yeah it's, it's, an it's, adapt- it's, it's own thing inspired yeah. by this this makes it when you look at it because they made it seem like it was a reboot 
At least that's how it was pitched when if, I heard about it. If they ever it's, pitched it that way, if you ever saw it that way, yeah. they fucked up. They it's more of an adaptation. Movie. Like, we're literally, exactly. yeah, like, it's Othello, shit like that. Like, something completely mm-hmm. different. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah, it sounds entertaining. I haven't seen anything bad about it other than people are like, Carlton is a fucking dickhead in the worst. Oh, he's a, he's a super up. My then, God. And, like, no. he Go just, ahead. I think part of it is, like, he's, he's well, one, like I said, like the world he grew up in is is not some shit that like a lot of people are ever going to see. Like a black person that comes up in that in that type of environment, like yeah, you're never going to see those people and like what they're like in in childhood and shit like that. But then two, it's like um, because he like he he has these passions and things, these goals that he wants for himself. Like he he sets a very high bar for himself. Part of that is his parents as well, because like they're extremely successful and like he's trying to follow in his dad's footsteps or just being successful and they're like um so when will comes in it's like instant competition so i think he that's he turns it up even more on will because yep. of that yeah um he doesn't realize the severity of like what will is trying to get away from and and that's why he's there and then two he also doesn't realize that it wasn't like will's choice to be there either his mom literally sent him there like um he got bailed out of jail because of his uncle uncle phil like pulled some crazy ass strings to get him out of jail and he was left jail to get on a plane. Like, okay. so he had no say in the matter. It was like, you're leaving now and you're not going to Are Phil and Vivian like receptive to him being there? Or are they like, we don't really fuck with you like that either. Or. um, So that this is another very cool part about the show because um, aunt Viv is the one that's from Philly, right? She's from, she's the one from West Philadelphia. So like her and will have like a lot more chemistry than uh, will and uncle Phil do. Sure. But they're both very receptive to it. Um, uncle Phil is like trying to be whatever he needs to be for will. Um, and it changes from scene to scene, but like, he definitely is like trying to give him a lot of responsibility and um, trying to teach him kind of how things are done in his house. Like where you can, you can get anything. Cause obviously like they have a ton of resources, so you can have anything you want, but it's like, you kind of have to, you have to work for, you have to earn it. You like, what are you going to do for me? And it's like, he, he's, he's teaching a lot of that stuff to will. And like that is, is very cool. That's pretty cool. He yeah, questions like- it at, at some points though. Cause like, he's worried about how it affects his campaign and shit like that. And like one of the early scenes, like is, um, I think when will gets there, they're having like some type of uh, campaign fundraiser at the house. And will's like, he just walks up to uncle Phil and starts like saying stuff to him about like thank you for bringing me in and all this stuff like that but he doesn't realize who uncle phil is talking to is very important to his campaign and so it's just kind of like trying to get will functioning inside their world yeah i got you okay yeah that sounds pretty dope that's uh damn they should have put you on the ad campaign well you would have had to see the show first but yeah that sounds pretty dope. i had to see the show first yeah um they they introduced um what's what is his gr- will's girlfriend's name lisa lisa lisa, lisa? yeah lisa. yeah she's she's introduced episode one she's there episode one so shout that's already Neil going on you so oh shout out Neil. yeah um they they got the hillary and Gordon, jazz Gordon, dynamics Gordon. started in episode four jazz is there episode one. Oh, you um, said hillary's not a dumbass this time right no no yeah she's Thank she's God. not a complete airhead she's like definitely um like I said, spoiled rich kid though. Like, um, they tried to get her to move out the house, and like she was like, "Will, this is devastating. Like, I can't afford to live how I want to live." He's like, "So this is the first time you haven't had enough money to like to do something." She's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Man, I've been doing that my whole life." Like, and just kind of yeah. that dynamic. That's funny. But she she's not she's not an idiot though. Like, she's got like definitely her own goals and shit in mind that she's trying to work on. It's just she wasn't trying to do the school thing, so she dropped out like Hillary did on Fresh Prince. So. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, this sounds pretty entertaining, actually. I think I'll Ashley's uh, probably younger than um, Ashley was on the show. But then again, Ashley probably started out on the Ash- show pretty young. I would say she on the first couple seasons, she was like 10, 11 years old. She was super young. Yeah. Okay, so this probably lines up then. Yeah. 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 So, Shout out to Tatiana Ali. She just turned like 41, I think. I saw her birthday on the timeline the other day. I bet you did. No, I, I, man, I was like did. one of my childhood crushes, man. I fucked with her, Ashley. I agree. Yeah, I just man, I really just want y'all to watch it. Like you saw the clip, I'm gonna watch the one clip of Carlton in the locker room. But like, there's so much fucking more. Like they made a great villain, and he's he's killing it. Like <laughs> it's funny too because I saw that clip and I sent it to you before I'd seen anything else about the show. I didn't realize that was like season one, episode one. Like they open with, not open with that shit, but that's like immediate with Carlton. Yeah, no, Carlton is that's, a mega. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try to watch that shit tomorrow or Sunday when I'm off. That shit's funny. Yeah. All right. Um. What else? 
what else did I been checking? I didn't I didn't finish watching Peacemaker. It was too much commotion in my house. Um, I'm still behind on that. I'm, I need to get like you where I can like play video games and watch shit because I be trying to play the game, but I can't pay hey, attention to a t- show while I'm playing the game. All right. Yeah. Be easy. Eat a dick. But yeah, no, I I mean, I haven't been doing that lately It because like now, like with uh, just, yeah, like with being the single dad right now and everything, like, yeah, I don't have that much time to do any of this stuff anymore. Um, like, sure. like I said, like I might get like an hour and a half every single day where it's just my own time. And that's like, I have to use that same time to clean the house. So yep. <laughs> there's not really much time for me to do much of anything. So I typically will have a show on in the background now while like I'm feeding Brinley, playing with Brinley or something like that. And the subtitles will be on. And so I'm not even really even hearing what they're saying. I'm just having to look at the screen and maybe I catch what's going on because Coco Melon is fucking blasting. (laughs) 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 It's all good. I wouldn't trade it for the world, but yeah, it's just, I I don't have much time to do much of anything. You out there building character, man. I'm proud of you. Yeah, it's all good, man. Bill, I'll, Bill I'll look back on these moments and miss these when she's older and being an asshole to me. So exactly, <laughs> exactly. This is what it's about. Exactly. All right. Hey, uh, oh, you answered my question. I was going to ask if you had any streaming plans for the weekends, but I think you will not be streaming shit. No, uh, I will not be streaming I'm, I'm going to try to get on the Twitch on Sunday since now football is over. Stream some Horizon. I think I'm. Gonna, yeah. I didn't want to stream Sifu until I was nice at it, so I might get on there so I can like. Show people how we beat now. So Sunday, I think I'm gonna be on maybe both of those for a few hours and get yeah, our shoot me a text. I'm gonna definitely put that on the TV and watch Absolutely. it. Absolutely, will do. I'm gonna shoot everybody a text. I want everybody to tap in with the boy. Yeah, maybe uh some of our new followers. If we got new followers from hey. that tweet that blew up, you, that you, got, can... <laughs> you got quote tweeted by like some like news fucking shit from Canada or something like yeah. that. Yeah, you yeah you and your back. We're in our bag. They don't know that's me. That's, that's true. That could be any of us. Hey, follow at CU Unfocused on Twitter uh, and go mm-hmm. watch the funnies. Run up the funnies, please. Yep, follow yep, us on yep. Twitch. Also, uh, Critically Unfocused on Twitch. We be, sh- we be on there streaming. We don't use yeah, Instagram. Yeah. We, need, uh, we gotta be more diligent. We'll talk about that later. We, we, we need to be on the show. Yeah, we definitely... Uh... We definitely. <laughs> hey, hey, we're not helping we're, ourselves everywhere. We're young, <laughs> you know? okay. We're we're young. We're still figuring. We're it young out. and occupied and not making money from this, so it's very Facts. hard to, to <laughs> stop exactly. other shit to do this. But we can we can make an effort. We can you know. We can. All right. Well, that's all, all right. I got for the week. Is that all I get? No, I, got, I got no more good content. I don't either. No, yeah. I don't. Well, you got a short episode this week. Uh, we, we, you getting some extra content this week. You get it's some streaming. Free. It's yeah, free. It, Don't complain. It's free. Yeah. It's free ninety nine. And you come watch the stream. I'll be on there talking shit. Especially and Blake. If Blake hop in there with me, I'm definitely talking shit. You in the chat? Yeah, come come tap with the stream. That'll count as a second podcast for the week. There you go. Forty seven. Yeah. Uh, Andre Kirilenko, John Lynch. Good forty sevens. Oh, uh, we might have to do. Cure Linko. I think I might like him more. I agree. Find one where he got that shitty bowl cut. Actually, no. Nah, you know what? I can't even put him on there right now because he's off right now. I'm sorry. So I'm <laughs> to pick <someone> up. <laughs> That is a very good point. That is a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always tripping. All right. John Lynch episode. <laughs> John Lynch. Hey, shout out to the GM, man. That's funny. Damn. All right. Trey Lee. See you.